Yeah, so just as I feared, the uh, battery cut out just as I was uh, <clears throat> plugging them in. And uh, you'll see that on both units, on the 1500VA ABR and the 1500VA, the plugs are identical. All right. Um, I'm not even sure if they make this particular uh, VA ABR unit anymore. Probably not, I'm guessing. Um, but uh, if you can get it, well, you can still get it. it. It's proven to be a very reliable UPS unit. Um, I've had it for four years. The batteries are a little low, but it's still functional. It's still working well. But uh, I will be looking at getting some newer batteries into this. Uh, just to be on the safe side and maybe I'll just put these over into the other older unit that I have uh, since there's still some life in those batteries but uh, yeah um, anyway that's uh, that's down the road uh, let's just turn them on so we have a look at the difference in display uh, that's normal that's the voltage it's getting you can see that there's no load uh, right now. We have no load on it. Your battery capacity is right full. Okay. And that's that's the older unit. I've had that for four years. Okay. Now this one. Oh, hold on. Maybe it didn't hold it in long enough. There we are. Boop, boop. Again. This one's uh, actually down. The, the, the input for the voltage is a little bit lower, hey? It might be because it's more filtered, um, I'm guessing. But uh, who knows, you know, it's within one bolt of each other. So, you know, it could be splitting hairs here. But uh, you can see there's a little bit different. Uh, it's got the environmental uh, features built into it a little bit more. Um, oh, there we are. We're up to 123 volts now on both of them. And, uh, yeah, that display has gone out but uh, you can see the load is the same so the displays are relatively the same uh, they pretty much do show uh, uh, like if you go through all the all the selections I'm not going to do that uh, you, you but when you 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 select you know what you want to look at it gives you pretty much the same the same readouts so, um, this one however is warranted for five years this one was warranted for three and it's gone one year over its warranty so I got this one because it's warranted for five years pressure newer batteries it's got the USB charging I don't know if the wife will use that or not but it's that features there she needs it and you know, my daughter needed a UPS as well because she's getting into, you know, a lot of graphical work and stuff like that. And if we have a power failure in the middle of that, she could lose a lot of work. So, you know, this will give her time to shut down her computer safely so she doesn't lose her animations or whatever she works on, what she likes to make. And uh, uh, all will be well. Um, you know, it's just time for another UPS. Which is kind of funny because I just bought another UPS before this. And uh, here I'll take you on a little bit of a walk around. Pardon my junk. I have been so busy. I've been really working on this basement. Yeah, this is the uh, the wife's layout. She's really into yarn and uh, uh, what do they call it? Crocheting and, and all that sort of stuff. And this is her computer, of course, is turned off because I'm swapping out. Her UPS for her um, yeah she wanted uh, me to build her a pink computer so she got a pink computer she's very happy with it and then she wanted a pink shelf and she's got a pink keyboard and she's got pink mouse and well um, she likes pink and uh, yeah so anyway over to my my end of things I kind of prefer something a little bit more neutral black um, and this is it. This is my sine wave uh, UPS, and this is uh, a little hundred watts more. It um, 
It, it also has the environmental power saving features in it and uh, the, the main difference here is that it's sine wave and uh, I need that because uh, what I use uh, I use some pretty expensive and very sensitive components and I can't really afford to be buying everybody sine wave oh that'd be nice uh, maybe you know sometime down the road it'll it'll come to that but this unit here not 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 this router uh, actually they're going to be put up uh, I decided even though I could put it on the floor because I have this uh, tilt display which is like really handy I, it's kind of tricky to close in and, and back in so I don't pull it out but uh, if, if you were to have it on the floor you could pull that out and you'd be able to read the display even with it sitting on the floor but I decided uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a rail shelf and that's what this is all about here I'm, I'm in the process of building it's, it's basically rails all the way up you see rails and then I cut these slats of wood and uh, painted them painted them a glossy black and uh, I'm going to um, put them like a ladder uh, like that all the way underneath you see they'll go underneath like this and uh, see what I mean and they'll be about four inches apart each one roughly four inches apart each each rung and it'll go all the way down 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 to here and then my wires will my cables and all that will will run through the gap in the ladder now maybe some of you are familiar with this sort of uh layout design because basically uh you'll see it in factories uh you'll see it in in uh pardon my camera you'll see it in in uh uh, uh well basically in a lot of industrial places uh, that's how they deal with their their cabling and I have so many cables that I just got the inspiration uh, hey I could just do this on a smaller scale you know and uh, just zip tie them to to a ladder you know I don't know what the uh, official name for it is but I'm, I'm going to call it a rail shelf and uh, because that's what I'm using I'm using rails um, and, uh, and and I think it's a really neat way to deal with all your cables because cable management outside of your PC is also an issue it's not just cable management inside your PC but what about all those Ethernet cables and uh, you know peripheral cables and and whatnot what what do you do with those do you just make a, a spaghetti monster I mean you know I'm dealing with six PCs down here in this basement and uh, you know the girls like the peripherals too so you know how do I deal with that well uh, that's my answer to it and maybe that'll help some of you out there if you're watching this uh, you know with a respect to how to deal with cable management I'll, I'll show in another video you know what it looks like after it's all done my UPS is going to go right up in here and uh, I'm going to probably have my my uh, my uh, router up in here and it's going to be runged in here as well and uh, yeah it's gonna be like a rail shell but it's going to be made strong to hold the weight of a UPS and uh, yeah, here's my my server computer. And you might have seen that in uh, one of my other videos. I also have to exchange this because of the lights are the LEDs are finally going on the iStar USA. I already have um, a cage for it. Boy, I had fun uh, trying to find uh, the original cage, iStar USA cage for uh, my uh, RAID 10. Uh, but uh, I found it and so uh, yay they, they really gave me an excellent deal they're very reasonable with me on it and uh, I'm so glad that uh, that I found it and yeah I can replace it and then all the LEDs will be blue 
you know it's more of a cosmetic deal everything is still working when it's writing these will flash red instead of uh, the uh, usual violet because <laughs> the blue has gone out of them you see there's a little bit of red there flicker but uh, yeah so I digress I'm, I'm supposed to be showing you guys UPS's but I'm really pleased with this and I'm really pleased with cyber power I'm so happy cyber power made it possible for me to get this uh, no retailer made it possible for me to get this I'll just kind of leave it at that but cyber power made it possible for me to get this I actually had to send in the uh, the the wrong unit that the retailer sent me to cyber power and then cyber power straightened out the problem so I'm very happy to actually have this sine wave UPS this thousand watt sine wave UPS unit running um, my server and backing it up so I guess that's pretty much all for now that I wanted to uh, pardon my mess I, I'm so embarrassed to show you all that because I'm doing so much work down here but uh, uh, yeah there's the differences between the cyber power 1500 VA AVR and cyber power 1500 VA now they are both AVR okay but that's you know uh, not an issue in fact most <laughs> UPS's have that or they have sine wave right but uh, I, I think even the sine wave still has AVR but uh, I could be wrong on that or whatever those who would know Mr. Carlson's lab uh, on YouTube that man knows his UPS's and Sparky my buddy he definitely knows his UPS's better than I do and I know that I've been going on about UPS's um, on my channel here, uh, but for good reason. Okay, I'm 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 gearing up for the winter, and I'm I'm getting all my UPS's in order, and uh, you know, getting ready for any power outages that we might have, and um, you know, I just this is the opportunity to show people what UPS's are about and and why they need UPS's and if you've just stumbled on this channel then I just I'll give you a brief overview you need a UPS for the following re reasons you have expensive electronic equipment that you want to protect perhaps you have a home entertainment center or perhaps you have uh, an expensive computer or perhaps you have some other expensive, a very expensive electronic equipment and you want to guard it. And you know that if there was a, a let's say, a lightning strike that would result in a power surge or uh, you're in an area where you get a lot of brownouts or blackouts. Uh, you will be protected with the UPS um, and it won't just protect you like a, a, a power surge protector protects you. It will allow you to have time to shut down your system uh, even when you actually have a complete flat out outage and you, you know, you're sitting in the dark, but your computer will still be running and or or your sound system will still be running and you'll have time to shut it down properly without hurting any of the components because when you have those automatic shutdowns uh, without that protection um, it's really hard on your electronics all right um, it can really hurt your electronics you know it's not just a power surge per se that can hurt your electronics if you just it's a if you're just going up and pull a plug on your sound system it, it it can wreak havoc on your circuitry you know when your system is on and running for example so i'm just saying you know if you value your electronic equipment a i would say that a ups is a must especially in these troubled times um, there's a lot going on with companies today and uh you know, there's a lot going on in the world today, and it's kind of nice to have a little bit of backup. And that's exactly what these things do. They give you a little bit of backup on your power, so that even in the event of a complete power outage, you can shut down your systems safely. So, definitely something to think about. Uh, 
I can uh, run my computer in the middle of an electrical storm and not worry. Can you? There you go. Just leaving that up to you. All right. Thanks again for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.